Hello everyone, this is Sage and I welcome you all to the Executive Corner Expert Talks, our 20 minute roundup. And today we have Mr. Mark Lynch, the Chairman of City Gold Corporation Limited. We bring you industry leaders, successful business owners, market and equity advocates all under one roof to help you discover the insights of the stock markets and help you understand how you can create multiple passive income streams. So in today's show, I am privileged to introduce to you Mr. Mark Lynch, the Chairman of City Gold Corporation Limited. Having a vast career in the world of gold spanning over 36 countries, he is the former Director of the Queensland Resources Council. He is currently a Fellow of the Australian Institute of Company Directors and a member of the Middle East Advisory Committee as well. He has ventured himself deep underground to encounter firsthand the diversity of challenges and opportunities regarding underground mines. So welcome Mark, it's a pleasure e-meeting you. Thank you, Shays. Looking forward. Fantastic. Well, without any further ado, let's start with the first question. Gold had a wonderful 2020 and however, over the last few months, it has been under consolidation. What is your view on the long-term prospects of gold, please? Gold is an asset. Gold is an asset. It's performed well over the long haul and it stood the test of time. Yes, there's been a few little ups and downs lately but gold is possibly the only portable and easily exchangeable asset that is similar to currencies. And gold is stable. Currency values depend on confidence in the government issuing the currency. Gold is independent of governments. So if people lose confidence in their government, then gold is a very good place to be. Thank you, undoubtedly so. City Gold has already produced 100,000 ounces during the trial mining phase at the Chartist Towers Gold Project. Further, the company aims to produce 300,000 ounces of gold annually. How do you plan to achieve the gold production target? We'll achieve our goal of 300,000 ounces of gold a year of production by building up and building on the lessons that we learned during the trial mining. The trial mining produced valuable real-world experience on the actual mining conditions at Charters Towers, not just some paper-based uh, assessment, but actually underground. So as we go forward, the plan is based on real-world actual experience. This gold deposit has produced historically 6.6 .6 million ounces from 38 grams to the tonne ore. So clearly it's a very high grade gold field. The technical report that we put out to the market in December 2020 sets out the capital estimates to bring the mine to commercial production. And with operating costs, set out the technical report of around Australian $525 an ounce and you know US 400 an ounce at these sort of exchange rates now. So there's a very, very strong business case. Fantastic news. I can't always rely on the historical data to provide the accurate results, I suppose. So it sounds like you've a lot of work, interesting work ahead of you. <laughs> yes. City Gold plans an ultra low cost gold mining operation at Chartist Towers Gold Project. How is the project placed on the gold cash cost curve? And how will City Gold manage to keep the operational costs in check. Yeah. So on the cost curve, we're going to be in the lowest quartile costs. And so when we look at how this is going to be achieved, a key cost saver is we're going to use small tunnels and a keyhole surgery approach to extracting valuable ore. This is selective mechanised mining operation. Technologies have advanced tremendously over the last 10 years. So it's now an excellent time to build a, a new mine using these efficiencies that reduce costs and cause minimal disturbance to the environment. It's not just a, a giant strip mine bulk tonnage operation, it's going to be a very minimalist footprint. Our mining goal is to extract only the high grade ore and take it to the surface and minimise the removal of unnecessary waste rock. Processing the ore, that's also changed. 
the old way of grinding everything into liquid dust. It is now being replaced by mechanical sorting of larger rocks. Our technical team aims to reduce three quarters of the barren rock that would normally be ground and eliminated from the, the milling circuit. This is an efficient, lower cost and a much more clever way to go about mining. City Gold aims to eliminate cyanide wherever possible. And if it needs to have some cyanide, it'll be only on a very small part of the tonnage. This also further reduces our operating costs. Fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing your plans there and uh, the innovations sound like um, they, they will offer you the cost effectiveness that you're looking for. Yes, so, we aim to be a very low cost producer. Right. The low operational costs will allow City Gold to earn high profit margins. Could you comment on the project economics at Charlie Towers Gold project, please? Yeah, as just outlined um, previously, the costs will be low and part of our mission is to return substantial profits to our shareholders. That's part of our corporate goal. So this gold mine, it has a very large gold resource and therefore a lot of gold, meaning that we don't need to go and buy other mines to maintain long-term large-scale gold revenues. So it does put us in quite a unique position. Mm. Company, we have a clear plan to make the mine a clean mine. And also part of our mission statement is that we're going to operate in harmony with our local environment. The goal also includes being renewables powered processing plant. And over time, we want to remove diesel machines from the underground. Fantastic. Well, sounds like you are in a prime position and not many people can say that, but they're sitting on a gold mine, literally. <laughs> Fantastic news. Um, the Charters Towers Gold Project enjoys existing infrastructure in the neighbourhood. How will it contribute to the proposed operations? Yeah, this is also a really important part of what we do because the mine is near a township, so it won't be an expensive relatively expensive fly-in, fly-out project. It'll be more of a residential people live uh, in the town and they come to work a little bit like you would in a city, a very, very short trip. So the mine surface access is already established as we've seen in the image above me to, to my right. The underground tunnel's already over 200 metres vertical depth and we plan to act, start accessing more at 300 metres depth. So this work to date was done as part of our trial mining. So the site now is ready to start. We can see there's buildings on site, the decline access. We've got electricity grid power connected to the mine site already. And again, we didn't have to run power lines, big long hundreds of kilometers distance. We're in a town, so we're able to connect onto existing infrastructure. And that includes the social infrastructure to support a a mine. So power, water, roads, schools, industry support services and supermarkets are all in place. This also means that the benefits of the mining business blow up to the already established businesses, which is a great thing for the local community. Exactly. Um, and, and it's so positive the way you are approaching it, wanting to work in harmony with the existing surrounds. That that sounds like something that the shareholders would be interested in for sure. The gold project holds inferred gold mineral resources of over 14 million ounces and still holds substantial potential for extensions. How do you see the project operations evolving in the upcoming years, please? Yeah. So the plan is to move into sustained and growing gold production within 12 months. That's sort of our key number one mission. And therefore that will process will start when our capital funding is in place. So we've always been a shareholder focused company and you know, management therefore we have an obligation to organize the funding in a way that can provide substantial profits to shareholders. It's not just money at any cost, it's money that can actually show and deliver a clear return for our shareholders profits from the gold mine 
They are to be returned to shareholders. We don't have any plans to go around buying up and becoming a uh, megalomaniac of a company. We've got a huge gold deposit and that can produce really substantial profits for our shareholders over a very long period of time. Thank you so much for sharing your insights there. How well is City Gold funded to pursue the mega gold opportunity at Charters Towers, please? So our Charters Towers opportunity, it's quite unique and therefore needs to be properly funded. You know, with the benefit of looking back and the past, we've had some funding that did not deliver as expected previously. So therefore, corporate management's focus is to have funding that completes the capital works and thereby realising the substantial value of this large high-grade gold deposit. And with the gold prices where they are, we believe that can be uh, achieved in the near term. Fantastic news. Moving on to bigger and better things. So where would you like the company to be in 12 months from now? Well, the number one thing is we want to be in gold production. Mm -hmm. And we have, management has a clear production pathway towards our 300,000 ounce a year goal. This is going to take a few years to get that production rate. But the initial goal production is planned within 12 months of funding and then an aggressive ramp up. All the costs for the ramp up have been taken into account in all our go forward cash flows. Fantastic, best of luck with that. And our last question, how is City Gold placed among other gold mining and exploration companies to create shareholder value, please? Well, this question is one that I, I, I really like and uh, can relate to because I'm a substantial shareholder in the company myself. And therefore, you know, there is a very firm belief that from now and where we are at, City Gold has the potential to outperform most, if not all, existing gold producers in the creation of shareholder value. Mm. So we've got a clear plan, and as we realise that plan, I think there's going to be uh, our shareholders will be uh, very happy with the outcome. Thank you so much for sharing your insights there. It does sound like you genuinely are a shareholder focused company from what you've told us today. Absolutely. So, to finish off, are there any final thoughts you'd like to share with our esteemed audience here at Calcone? No, just to, uh, just to repeat a point I made a little moment ago that, yeah, I know that City Gold can absolutely have a very successful gold mine at Charters Towers, Queensland, Australia and that those successes are going to be shared with the local community and the way we go about the project and then ultimately with shareholders by generating profits and then the ability to pay um, long-term long dividend flow from the mine. Thank you so much for your time today, Mr Lynch. Really do appreciate it, everyone. That was Mark Lynch, who is the chairman of City Gold. And that was a fabulous show. It was absolutely lovely chatting to Mark. And once again, thank you for your time. With that, I'm Sage signing off for today. Watch this space for more. Until then, stay apprised and invest wise with Calkine. <laughs>